So I watched Green's latest episode on Hermitcraft, and we have so far still to go on this. But you know, it's fine. It's fine. We're doing well. We'll get there. And um, anyway, play the intro. and welcome back to this tutorial series on Green's Mansion from Hermitcraft Season 7. As you can see behind me here, progress is being made. In today's episode, we will be building up this central section so that we can catch it up with these bits on the side that we did in the last episode. As always, the material list for this episode will be down in the description below, so you can check that out if you need those for doing this as a survival build. Now, before we begin with this episode, there's a couple of things I need to address last episode because I did actually make a couple of mistakes. First off, Anywhere where we placed the white concrete last episode, so that's under here and that's up here, we need to go ahead and replace these with clay. And then the other little bit that we missed was some anvils, just to go there, there, and there. And on those three as well. And then of course do this on the other side. So that is the two bits that we missed last episode. And big thanks to Paradox434 from my Discord for helping me for spotting those. So to begin with the new stuff for this episode, we're going to start by knocking out some windows on these two front bits. So we're going to come down to the bottom here, place four bits of stone just like that. And then behind the stone, those three blocks there, we're going to break out these so that that hole is a total of five blocks high, just like so. You're then going to grab some smooth stone slabs, place them on top of those three bits of sign terracotta there and underneath those three like that. Come in behind it and do a zigzag with sign terracotta just like that and also at the top here and then take your light gray stained glass and build up the window behind those slabs until it reaches the top and fills in that whole window and now to finish off this window we can come up to the top of it here with some stone blocks place them in a zigzag like this just above where those smooth stone slabs are switch to regular stone slabs just have one sticking that's not a stone slab have one sticking out on the end like that one sticking out from there and two more just there and just there like so now for the next stage of this build we need this wall here to have been built up a little bit higher so we're going to start this by building up this pillar of stone bricks just here and we need this one to be three blocks shorter than what we built this one to in the last episode now to build up this wall with the gradient, we want to start with our grey concrete powder and build it up so that in the middle here it is three blocks above this central one. And we're going to go into the centre here first. And for each one of these, we want this to come up another block. So it looks like that going up into the middle. And then coming out towards the outside here, we want to come up one block there. One block there, two blocks for that one, and this last one we'll need to break some of these terracotta blocks. I'm going to build that one up so that is three blocks coming up like that. Now having done that, if you look around to the side here, you'll see that we've made the gradient on this wall look a little bit funny with that pillar of concrete powder just there. So we need to change those ones so it comes up one like that, and these ones so it comes up another two and now that looks a little better back around the front here we can then fill in the rest of this up to the height of that one with our sign terracotta just like this now that we have a bit of a wall here to work off of we can start building up the next feature on this wall and we're going to start down here just above this roof here we're going to go on the second block of concrete powder above this one and in the top half of that we want to place a polished andesite slab and one to either side of it then switch to our stone blocks and in the block above these bring them around in a bit of a ring around it just like that then around those stone blocks that you've just placed take some polished andesite stairs and place them upside down going around just like this and when you've done that you want to go back to your stone blocks place two stone blocks on top of each of those stairs and then go back to your stairs and do another ring of stairs upside down coming around that top layer of stone. On this corner and this corner 
of those stone blocks, place two polished andesite blocks. And on this central block, place one, two, three, four, five, six stone bricks like that. Take some stone blocks, place two and two on top of the andesite, and then take smooth stone and place two and two on top, just like that. And once you've done that, you wanna take some stone stairs and place them upside down here and here, and on the other side, turn those into arches. And we're gonna fill in the backs of these arches with black concrete, just like this. Now we want a stone block on top of each of these smooth stone blocks, just like that, with smooth stone running in between, like so. And then you wanna grab your stone slabs and on the top half of this one here, nope, sorry, on top of that one there, on the bottom half of all of those, and top half of that one, you place those slabs, and then come around to the side here, and now on the bottom half of this side, and sticking out like that, and the same on this end, we place some more of those slabs. We wanna stick with our stone slabs now, and coming from the pillar of stone bricks here, on the block above this top level of what we've been building here, so that is just there, we want to build this out to come one past this, and then to the side until that touches that block there at a diagonal just like that. And we want to do this on the other side as well, so coming around just like that. And we then want to build these two parts here up in a diagonal until they meet in the middle. So on top of this one, we're going to place a stone slab, and on the side, and up, and side, and up, and so on. And we're going to do the same here, on top, side, on top, side, on top, side, and one more in the middle, just like that. So now to build the roof of this section, we want to grab ourselves some dark prismarine. And we're first going to build in an L shape. Oops, one block above that. It should be like this, so it sticks up half a block above these slabs. So we're going to build that in an L shape, just like that. Do the same on the other side over here. Then come one block up and in from that. So just like this, build them out like that and like that. And then on the front here, build them two blocks there and two blocks there, just like so. Then come one block up and in again. Do another L shape on the inside of those, like that. And then on top here, do a T shape like that. And just behind there, place a block like that to fill in that gap. Having built that roof, we still have a gap underneath it like this. So this gap here, on top of these smooth stone blocks, we are gonna fill in with some clay, just like that. And if you come around to the sides here, there's gaps at the sides here, which we are gonna fill in with cyan terracotta, like that, and the same on the other side, all the way up to the top. And we can finish off a little bit of detail on this roof by putting a cauldron on top of that block just there, put a stone block on top of that, two andesite walls on top of each other, and lastly, some stone bars, some stone bars, some iron bars, just on top of it like that. Now to finish off this section of wall for now, we're gonna leave a two block gap above the top of this roof here and place some upside down polished andesite stairs there and there above the edges of these. Leave a gap and another one there and same on this side. And then one block up and in the gaps, we're gonna place stairs the right way up here, here, there, there, and there, just like that. And then last of all, we are gonna place upside down stairs on top of all of these right way up ones switch to some stone slabs, place a stone slab on top of each of those upside down ones there, and then in each of these gaps like that, and last of all, running all the way along the front from those stairs across to these ones. The next stage we're gonna work on is putting in the second window in this wall just here. So to start this off, we're gonna come into the middle part of the roof on this window just here, and we wanna go two blocks above this slab, which is in the top half of this cyan terracotta here, and place an andesite slab there, and one next to it, and switch to regular andesite, put a full andesite block there, and a slab on that side, do the same thing again here, so full andesite block, and a slab, and have a slab just there as well. Then take some stone blocks, place stone on top of each of those bits of andesite, take some polished andesite stairs, and have them upside down, facing out on all of those stones except the two end ones. Then go back to your stone blocks and build up seven, three, four, 
five, six, seven on that one and seven on this end one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then this gap in the middle here, we're gonna break out all of these and we're also gonna break out the ones behind this outer pillar of stone. Come in behind it and place some cyan terracotta in those corners there. Switch to your light gray stained glass and follow the line of that terracotta like that and then build this up to the top of the window there. And then having built those up, if you have any bits like this where the glass doesn't have something on top of it, just stick some more terracotta on top of it like that. Coming back around to the front, we're gonna place a clay block on top of that one and that one, and then two there, two there, and one there, just like so. You then wanna place an andesite slab on that side, on that side, and then two there and one back, two across, one back and two across and then two coming back just like so. And then for each one of those andesite slabs that you've placed, you're gonna place another one on the top half of those clay blocks that you placed just like so. Now to finish off this window, you're gonna take some polished andesite slabs, place them going around the corner just like that. Put a full andesite block there with a slab next to it. Full andesite black behind it with slab on top. Full andesite block next to that just there. And last of all, three andesite slabs just like so. We can also add a little bit of detail to this window by placing anvils on top of those stairs. And actually while we've got our anvils, we'll come over to this one that we did and place the anvils going all the way around just like this. And having done that, we can now move into the center and start working on some stuff in the center. First thing we're gonna do is actually just add a little bit of detail to our door here. You're gonna grab andesite walls and either side of the middle block at the same level as these polished andesite blocks here. You're gonna place two andesite walls just like that. Take your sign terracotta and place two blocks like that with then andesite on top of them so you make a little square at the corner here and do the same on this side. Then on this corner and that corner, place two cobblestone walls like that with a cobblestone slab on top. Grab some polished andesite slabs and around the top half of this terracotta, place them coming all the way around like this there so you're, until you're just behind this block around the site and do the same on this side and you'll see that still leaves you with this slight gap at the back where you can actually see the sides of the door and we're just going to fill that all the way up with some gray concrete powder and the same on this side now at the top of the door we want to take some stone slabs and run them along the top just like this on top of each of these put polished andesite with then another row of stone slabs coming along like that and then behind, to fill in that gap, on top of the logs that make up the door, we want to start on the end one, put some grey concrete powder on every other block like that, with polished andesite on these ones in between. Next, on the sides of these polished andesite blocks here, put a stone slab on the top half of it, and one above, and on top of it, two stone slabs or a full stone block either way. Then half a block up, again, two stone slabs like that. Do the same again, and repeat this into the middle from both sides. So we'll place a block like that, do that, do that, and so on until these meet in the middle. And once those have met just like that, we can put a stone block on the end there, like that, and like that. And then grab our clay, wherever that is. There we go. And we're gonna fill in this gap behind here with clay just like so. We're now gonna place a full stone block on top of this clay like that, so it sticks up half a block behind that one there. We wanna build up this wall behind it a little bit more now. So we're gonna be building up with concrete powder until the concrete powder is at the same level as this. So along the back here, we're gonna to need to place some sort of solid block. It can be any solid block you want for this concrete powder to sit on. And then if I grab my powder, that's then being built up all the way across this back wall to be the same height as this one. 
So when you've done that, you'll see you still have this kind of funny gap behind here. So for each of these blocks here, you wanna place the stone slab just behind it like that so that it actually meets up with this back wall and make sure you do the same on both sides. So once you have your wall like this, we're gonna take some sign terracotta, put it above there just like that and one to either side. Now switch to your dark prismary, put a temporary block on top of this one and build out one, two, three, four blocks of dark prismarine like that and put one to either side of it so there and just there then come down to the side one and do the same again one two three four blocks out break the temporary block and one next to it so you have two blocks here then come down and out again have another two blocks coming up four blocks another two coming up four like that and once more another two just like that. And we're gonna do the same as this, going down this side as well. Once you've done that, and before we do the next bit, we're gonna build up these stone bricks here until they touch the cyan terracotta, sorry, the, uh, the dark prismarine, just like that. And then take some gray concrete powder and build up these walls either side until they're level with the prismarine. So once you've sorted out those walls on either side, you can take some stone blocks and put them on the front of each of these prismarine blocks, just like so. And then starting from the wall, you're gonna place a slab underneath that one and on top of that one, underneath that one on top of that one, underneath that one on top of that one, once more, underneath that one, and then on top of that central one. And we're gonna do the same pattern here, so underneath, on top, underneath, on top. Now take some stone bricks, put two there with stone on top of them and the same on this side, let's see two there, stone on top of them. And then to make a diagonal that is parallel to these ones coming from these stone blocks, we're gonna do an alternating pattern of stone block next to that one with a slab on top of it and then slab on the top half of that stone block with a block on top of it. And then we do another stone block next to it, slab on top slab there, stone on top, and so on, until those two meet in the middle. So that should then look like that. And as we did down here, we're gonna fill this part in with our clay. So come behind it with some clay and fill in that gap just like this. So once we have this, we have a couple of windows to build behind here. So we're gonna grab some polished andesite, come to the wall here, count one, two, and then behind the third one in here, place two polished andesite coming up like that. Leave a gap of one, two, three, four. And then on the fifth one, have two more coming up just like that. So you can only see the top half of this polished andesite here. On top of this lower part of polished andesite, place two regular andesite and one on top of that one. Then take some stone, place two on top of that one and one on top of this one, and then find some smooth stone and put one on top of each of those. And those two smooth stone blocks should be level with each other. And then to finish off this arch, we're gonna place stone on top of each of those smooth stone bits. Stone stairs facing in on top of each of those. Take some stone slabs and place them like that, just next to the top half of those stone stairs. Put a full stone block on top of each of the slabs with then an upside down stairs like that and slabs on top of each of those stairs just like so. And we're then gonna repeat everything we've done for this in this half. So starting from one, two, three in like that and so on. So once you have your two arches hit, we're gonna come behind them with some black concrete and one block back from where the arch is, we wanna fill it in with black concrete just like so. Make sure you do this for both of them. So that will look like this. I mean, they want to get a bit of wall filled in around these. So we're going to start by coming to the side here and where we have just behind the stone bricks here, we have a bit of concrete like this and then our diagonals. We want this concrete powder at the same level as this to come across for a total of three blocks. We need two more. So we're going to come down to here and build up two blocks of concrete just like that. And then from here, if you look around to the side, just next to this window, you should be able to build it in line with the black concrete so that it just touches this 
wall here at the corner. We're going to build those up until they're level with this. Then put one there, one there, and one, two, three, like that. We're going to go do something very similar on this side. So once you've done all of that with the concrete powder, we're then going to build up the rest of the wall, both on top of the concrete powder that we've done over here, and in the middle here, one block back from these. We're going to build it up until it is at that height, one block above the top of this black concrete and sticking up half a block behind the backs of these. So once you've built that wall, we're now very, very nearly done with everything we need to do in this episode. There's just a couple more bits to do. First of all, if we look at this, you can see we have actually left a gap behind this bit here. So the whole way down, we want to, whoops, not there. We want to build slabs behind it like this. Do the same here where it's going into the windows. Whole way down, have these slabs coming back connect it into the wall. Make sure you do the same on this side as well. On top of this central bit here, we're gonna place another two slabs to turn that into a four block. And on the front of that, place two cobblestone walls with a iron rod on top of them. And then last of all, on top of these slabs at the top here, place polished andesite and bring that in a line all the way across the front of that wall like that, make sure you connect it up on this side as well. And we're gonna bring this wall, might as well just bring it up to be at the top here. And the same on this side. And then this is pretty much all that we need to do for this episode. If we just come back out here, all you will need to do as well is if you haven't already, do everything on this side. So on that bit there and on that bit there to be a mirror image of those ones and these ones here. And then that will complete everything for this episode. Hang on, there's actually one more bit before we finish. As you can see, I have now built that bit on that side. But before we finish, and I should have done this before, is we've got some pattern to do on the edges of this bit of the side here and on the edges of these. And for this outside bit, you're gonna need some stone brick stairs and some stone brick slabs. So we're gonna start on this very outside wall here. Down here, we're gonna place a stone brick slab, just like that. Immediately above it and upside down, place some stone brick stairs and then on top. And then the rest of the way up, we're gonna follow this pattern. Leave one, two, three half slabs. Put a slab and a slab on top of it. Then leave another one, two, three half blocks. And go upside down and the right way up. And then that repeats, so one, two, three, Half slab, half slab. One, two, three. Upside down stairs. Upside down, uh, correct way upstairs. And then on this side, on the inside, we're gonna have to do it coming out towards us, towards the front. So slab, upside down stairs, immediately up top of that. Far way upstairs. And then one, two, three. Slab, slab. One, two, three. Stairs, stairs. And so on both those sides until you reach the top up there. So that should leave you with these two slabs at the top there and the same on this side so we'll finish it by placing upside down stairs there and upside down stairs just like that so then that is that one all done we can now move on to this central one so for these ones here in the middle we're going to take some stone stairs we're going to place just here where at the bottom where it meets the stone bricks stairs like that we have a block of a gap place them upside down and the correct way around and then these two we have the double stairs do that at the same height over here so correct way around ones there upside down ones just there and the other place we have them is above this top roof so on both sides stone brick stairs and stone brick stairs in the corner like that and for each of those leave a gap upside down correct way around same on this side leave a gap upside down correct way around and then do all of that on this one here as well and then we really will be done well that's it for this episode on green's mansion from hermitcraft season 7 if you enjoyed it make sure you hit the like button leave a comment let me know what you thought and subscribe so you don't miss any more future episodes from me also be sure to check out the description for our links to the world download my twitter and the discord and until next time guys i've been matt and i'll see you all in the next video Bye bye